hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here take some time to hit that subscribe button so today's video is going to be about this second half of my fitness journey I'm gonna talk with you guys about my goals and how I plan to achieve these goals so this video is actually going to kick off a new series on my channel called fight now this series is gonna follow me through the second half of my fitness journey and I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I eat, how I exercise, I'm going to be doing regular check-ins and progress videos. So I'm so excited to kick this off. I chose the name Fight because I've realized like over the years I thought that I was a very strong-minded, strong-willed person. As the years pass by, I'm starting to realize that that is not true. I'm actually a wimp. So what I do is I make decisions in the heat of the moment and I say yes I'm gonna do this and I start and then I stop and then I fall off the train and I start and then I stop and I really want to be able to develop that tenacity and that mental strength to be able to fight through this process and achieve my goals that is so important important I want to see myself achieve real goals so that's why I call this series fight and I hope you guys are excited to follow me along as well. Let's talk about my goals. The top three things that I want to achieve is number one, I want to change the composition of my body. I want to gain muscle and I want to decrease my body fat percentage. Um, while I'm filming this, I don't have the scale that I ordered as yet. It hasn't arrived. I purchased the Vanity Planet body composition scale, but it hasn't arrived as yet. So. I can't give you numbers so look out for proper numbers and a body physique starting point at the end of this video but generally what I want to do is um, I want to build muscle and I want to decrease my body fat percentage I want to be able to see like muscle definition cuts in my arms my abs my legs like I just want to feel that strength as well second thing I want to do is develop my mental strength so I do have a bit of mental strength I had to have it in order to lose 38 pounds to begin with but I want to take it to a next level and I want to really tough it out and build the tenacity that I have to build in order to achieve goals in this life nothing is gonna come easy and I want to learn how to say no to myself and just really I really want to stick to the plans and the strategies that I've set out so that I can achieve goals and I guess that's going to be measurable by whether I achieve my goals at the end of this journey or not also um, I'm not sure how I can measure this goal for you guys but I would know it in how I feel I want to improve my energy levels I want to improve my mood and I just want to have an overall better feeling those are my top three goals so let's jump into how I plan to achieve those goals um, if you see me looking down that is because I wrote exactly what I plan to do I wrote it down because you know I must have plans so I wrote it down here so I'm just gonna be glancing down every now and again decided that a lot of things that I did in the first half of my fitness journey was actually very beneficial and I kind of slapped off on them along the way so I want to kind of ramp up and get back on track with those things so I'm going to mention four things that I want to take from my first half of the journey to the second half first thing that I want to bring across from the first half of my journey is water intake I want to make sure and drink at least two liters of water daily I won't go into the details of why they're important and so on here if you want to see more about that you can do your own research on water intake or you can also watch my previous video I'm going to link it down below on everything that I did for the first half of my journey to lose 38 pounds so water is one the second one is the apple cider vinegar and rough skin lemon I want to incorporate that back into my morning routine the third thing is herbal teas want to start back regularly drinking green tea and herbal teas to help with the detoxification process and in increasing my metabolism the last thing and most important thing for this half of my journey would be the liquid dinners no later than 7 p.m. because I generally try to go to bed at 10 p.m. 
So I want to have a liquid dinner no later than 7 p.m. So those are the four things that I'm going to bring over from the first half of my journey. And now to add to that, for the second half, um, I just want to make some changes to my general diet. At the beginning of this year, I stopped eating meat. Um, I did not stop completely. Like there were some instances sometimes when I ate meat because I was feeling for it. But generally, I don't eat meat. And I want to continue with that. But I want to clean up my diet a bit. So I, so I want to eat 90% whole plant foods. And that is just plants in their most natural form. So potato, carrot, beets, okra, um, rice. That is going to be 90% of my diet. And then the next 10% of my diet, I'm going to allow processed foods, um, dairy, eggs, cheese, meat, and I'm going to have meat. When I say meat, I'm going to have it on like very sparingly. I'm going to have it very, very sparingly, not even once a week, just very sparingly throughout my diet. If I feel like I want a piece of fish, if I feel like I want a piece of chicken, I will have it, but it's not going to be something that I have very often. And now on for the biggest challenge, of this entire series it will be the exercise now if you know me at all I don't like to exercise like it is the most challenging thing for me and this is where the fight is gonna come in because I'm really gonna have to push myself in terms of building muscle it is more difficult for females than for males to build muscle so I really would have to push myself I would really have to fight for it. I would have to fight for the muscle definition that I want to have. I'm going to start off with body weight exercises and then when my body gets accustomed to that I'm going to throw in some resistance bands and then when I get accustomed to that I'm going to throw in some actual um, weights, free weights. I'm just really going to focus on isolating muscle groups and really working them. So uh, yes, I'm going to be doing a lot of compound movements, but I also want to focus my efforts on some isolated muscle group movements. That is what I'm going to be doing in terms of exercise. And this is where the fight comes in. And this is where the strength, mental strength and tenacity building is going to come in. So that is my plan. I hope you guys are excited for this new series. I am so pumped and ready. Um, follow me along. Follow me along. Leave your comments. Leave your encouragement, leave your struggles if you're in your own fitness journey as well. Tell me how it's been going for you. Let me know how, what you struggle with the most. Yay, my scale is finally here. So I weighed myself first thing in the morning, no clothes on, and this is what I came in at. So as you can see, I am not 140 pounds. I'm actually 146.2 pounds. Um, my fat percentage is 27.8%. Um, water is 51% and muscle is 32.6%. My goal for this series is to decrease my body fat percentage by 5% and to increase my muscle percentage by 5%. I'm giving myself a year to do this because I'm not sure what changing your body composition entails and how long it actually takes and how much effort it actually takes. This is my starting body. When I turn to the side, you can see that I have a bit of belly fat. I have some love handles. I have those um, saddlebags. And most of all, those arms need to be toned up. I didn't get to film my outro for this video. So thank you guys for watching and let the fight begin. Take care. Bye.